Hi guys, welcome to Flying Grape Academy. Today we are going to discuss about HTML. Let us see what is HTML. Basically HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, which is used to create the web pages. So let us see what is URL. The URL defines whatever the thing we are going to type in your browser. So here I am going to type www.youtube.com If you are going to see the youtube.com you can able to see whatever the URL you have typed. So here the URL defines whatever the name of the website you are going to type. That is the URL. Next the browser. Browser is a software program which is used to show web pages. Here we are using different types of browsers like Chrome, Internet Explorer, Opera, Firefox and different types of browsers we are having. So now basically if you are going to type any document, if you are going to type the document, you are going to type some text. It means for example if I am going to open the MS Word. In order to open the MS Word, Win Word is a shortcut I am going to type. If you are going to open the conventional editors, here you are going to type some particular text and whatever the text you are going to type, paragraph and other kind of things you are going to type. So similar manner the particular tags are associated in order to create the web page. In order to create the web page what we are going to do is here we are having a tags. So now in order to create the tags what I am going to do is I am going to type the tags by using greater than and less than. So now if I want to type the particular HTML document what I need to do is I need to create a HTML document. So now let us type the structure of document notepad. Notepad is an editor where I can able to type the document. So now here I am having a notepad. Now the structure of HTML stands with we are using an angular braces. Angular braces and I am going to type HTML. So now HTML and I am going to type the head. Now I have typed the head. What is the heading you would like to keep? This is my first HTML page. So now I need to close the head. I am going to close the head. Now before closing the head, if you want to give the title, title defines what is the title of your particular web page. If you want to type the particular title, you can use title of the web page. So now what I am going to do is I am going to type the title. So title is opened by the braces like angular braces which is less than symbol and greater than symbol. Starts with the less than symbol and ends with the greater than symbol. Each and every tag is going to end with the backslash. Backslash title. Now what I am going to do is I am going to save this particular page with the backslash HTML. So before saving the document what I am going to suggest you is open the my computer and create the folder in any particular drive. I am going to create a folder name HTML 
in C drive within this folder I need to save my document it means it is the work directory where you are going to save your document I am going to save the document example 1 eg1.html eg1.html now in all files I am going to save this document now if you are going to open your work directory you can able to notice that you are having an browser icon here you are having browser icon and if you are going to open with Microsoft Edge you can see nothing is shown here if you are going to see at the top of your URL so this is the URL where you are going to type the name of the particular HTML document now after typing the name of the HTML document at the top of the web page you can able to see this is my first HTML page which is shown as a title on the tabbed pane the next tags before going to discuss the next tags what we are going to discuss is the HTML web page it provides only the skeleton of your web page you would like to design for example if you are going to design the web page in more attractive manner then you need to use CSS CSS stands for cascading style sheets which we will discuss in our next tutorial now we have chosen our text editor which is notepad instead of using notepad you can able to use atom sublime text notepad plus plus brackets komodo edit ck editor notepad bluefish ultra editor apache netbeans and microsoft visual studio code code pan and blue griffon most popularly used editor are notepad and microsoft visual studio code which we will discuss later in the next session i will prepare a video for how to use microsoft visual studio code now i have already opened the notepad and we have saved the code html code under all files and we have made the code so now let us go to the color codes now what are the types of colors we are having now here any particular computer or any particular TV whatever the th thing you are choosing you can able to see the three main colors which are mixed to provide different types of colors that are red green and blue it is called RGB so now if you are going to notice this particular diagram now here it each and every color code is separated by two commas that is which is going to start with triple zeros which specifies black and triple one which specifies color white zero double one which specifies color cyan and 010 which specifies color green 110 which specifies color yellow 001 which specifies color blue 101 which specifies color magenta if you are going to consider colors there are 16 basic colors which we are using in html here we are having a different colors aqua black navy blue and many other colors if you are going to see the hexadecimal notation which is going to shown in a similar manner which we have given in the previous one 000 which specifies black in a similar manner hexadecimal notation is also specifying the same color each and every particular color is associated with double zero double zero and double zero and if you are going to 
see the blue so we are going to place f wherever we are going to place blue and some other color so red which is having in the previous one 100 stands red in a similar manner here you can able to notice in hexadecimal notation ff 0000 it means in the previous slide if you are going to notice for red you can able to see 100 and here if you are going to see the red color ff 0000 so in this manner you are going to see whatever the color you want if i am going to open the ms paint you can able to notice here in paint you can able to notice here we are having more colors here whenever you are going to give uh, random numbers at that time it is going to choose a color in a different color from an palette so in this manner it is going to choose color mentioned by the user here you can able to see the different types of colors which you can mention now body element the body element of a web page is an important element in this regards which is used to show the particular text in the body for example we have created a web page without body in our particular document which is example 1 dot html now here the particular document is incomplete without mentioning the body for that point of view i am going to mention the body tag and body tag is also starts and ends with less than angular brace and ends with greater than angular brace and and also the ending tag is associated with backslash body body now within the body i am going to type the text i am going to just type something whatever text i am typing here is shown in web browser so now i am going to save the particular document already it was saved by the file name dot html so what how you are going to save the file name name of uh, name dot html name of the file dot html or you can able to save the file name of file dot htm both are acceptable but be cautious if you are saving the file dot htm and you are calling the file name dot html you cannot able to retrieve the element whenever you are going to call the particular document now i have saved this particular document i have opened the browser and i am going to have a refresh now you can able to notice here it is going to show whatever the text i am typing here it is shown in web browser that is what here we have seen now we are going to keep the attribute of body color body background color which is mentioned as white ff 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 so which you are going to type three times the particular uh, six times the particular f and it is mentioned by default so now i am going to open the notepad and here i am going to type what is the background color body is having a options we are having a bg color now i am going to type bg color equal to so now what i am going to type in double quotes is the color which i am going to choose i am going to choose some particular color 00 ff and 00 followed by double quotes so now this particular color will be mentioned as a background color 
Now I have saved the document by pressing Ctrl S and now I am going to open this particular browser and I am going to refresh this particular browser. So now it has chosen the color randomly by green. Let us see by typing the another color. Here I am going to type FF. Now I have saved this program and I am going to open my web browser. I am refreshing the document. Now it is shown yellow color. Now uh, what I am going to do it again. I am going to type here some particular number 88. You can even type instead of 0 it will be choosing some other random color. Now I am refreshing the document it has chosen lighter yellow. In a similar manner we are going to if you whatever the thing you are going to change here. I am going to change 55 and I have saved the document I have refreshed the document. Now the color is changed and here instead of FF I am going to type double one. So now I have saved the document. Now I refresh the document. It has shown in purple color. In this manner, you can able to notice whatever the things you are going to reflect within the body background color that is reflected. The next thing what we are going to do is how to create an image. So now I am going to create an image and that will be the background of your document. Now let us see by typing some image. I am going to download an image background images so now I am going to save my image save as and where I am going to save is in D drive I have uh, save created a folder uh, C drive I have created a folder called HTML and I have saved the name of the file is OIP now I have copied the folder of name of the file and I am going to ma mention it here. Now here we need to mention background. So now in order to mention the background we are going to mention the background background equal to whatever the image we are going to type OIP dot JPG. JP is the JP is the JPG is the name of the image. So now I am going to refresh this particular image. You can able to see the image whatever the changes has made but the image is ha ha uh, replicated multiple times because we have not fixed the height and width. Height and width are the attributes of the particular image. So let us uh, see by removing the image we, we will go for another colors because uh, we need to see other things. I am going to type here double zero double zero double zero so that it will be in white color is uh, black colors and uh, I am going to type here FF and it is a green okay uh, we will go with green. Now we are having a six types of headers. Now H1 to H6. Now each and ever every header is enclosed by H1. Now I am going to type the H1 tag and I am going to type I I am uh, I am header one. And now I am going to close the tag backslash followed by H1. In a similar manner what I am going to do is I am going to copy the same te text and I am going to paste it here H2 for H2 and I H3, H4, H5 and H6. Now I am going to rename this particular uh, thing H2. I am header 2 and I am going to write this header 2. Header 3 this is a high I am header 3 here header 3. So I am header 4, here header 4 and here also header 4. Whatever the tag you have opened it should be closed by the same number. H5 uh, header 5 and uh, H5 is going to be closed. H6 and uh, here header H6 and similarly header H6. 
So now save the document and uh, go to this particular thing and refresh. And here you can able to notice, hi, I am header 1, header 2, header 3, header 4, header 5 and header 6. Here you have seen a uh, 6 types of headers and their view which is associated with your browser. So next thing we are going to discuss is paragraph tag. If you are going to discuss the paragraph tag, here we are going to type the paragraph tag. Here uh, we copy some text. Now I am going to type paragraph tag and I have typed the para and now I am going to enclose with para. So I have saved the document. Let us see how it is going to view. Now I have refreshed and it is going to show the paragraph. Pair tag is used to break the particular line. For example, there are multiple windows uh, are there. So if you want to break a line, you can able to break a line by using the br tag. Now if you are going to have a lengthy of uh, pair at that time, uh, you can use this particular br tag. Now I have copied this one. Now whenever I am going to type the paragraph, paragraph tag and now I have pasted it here. Now what I am going to do is I would like to split wherever the sources say. Now what I am going to do is here I would like to add one more para. Here similarly I am going to use a br tag br tag doesn't have ending brace now here whatever the thing we have started here you have to end the paragraph tag you have ended with the paragraph tag similarly here you have ended with paragraph tag now i have uh, saved my document and i am going to refresh the document you can able to see here what wherever the br tag is associated Sources say, told the Congress something, whatever the text we have typed, that is unnecessary for us. We just copied a content. Now, that one is shown by in a different line. HR. HR stands for a horizontal line which will be displayed. Create a HR tag, so which is horizontal line, which draws a horizontal line. And uh, what I am going to do is, I am going to type the attribute width equal to 30% width equal to so within the double course I am going to type 30 percent so that it is going to show how much percentage uh, the particular line should be drawn now I have created a horizontal line after header 1 now I refresh the document here if you are going to see HR here there was a line uh, which is associated here now uh, if you want to see here I will type FF 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 now you can able to uh, see whatever the line which is associated here now if you want to align that particular thing you can align otherwise no need so there are there are uh, some particular attributes are there uh, here you are having an attributes the attributes are size width align align can be center left right now color also you can be able to set but i and the other particular versions which are not going to use the color so now let us say here hr tag width equal to 30 percent we have see, uh, given and now i am going to type align align equal to I am going to type left so now I have saved the document and now refresh the document now the line has came to left side similarly and if you want to use a color 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 equal to red so red is a color which I have given now f5 so now the color of a line is changed to red in this manner you can able to create a particular attributes of 
HR tag. Next, character formatting. Character formatting is uh, something like if you are going to use your conventional uh, Word document, here I am going to use, here I am going to have a number of uh, font types, Arial, Black and all the things. If you want to keep bold, you can able to select bold and if you want to italicize the page and you can able to use italics and if you want to underline the particular text you can able to underline and if you want to choose a color and you can able to choose all the options are available now let us see whatever the things we are having under the character formatting now uh, the similar attributes we are having a bold tag italic tag underline tag color tag color also specifies rgb where we are going to write rrggbb now here uh, whatever the text you are going to type here uh, we are going to type font color equal to rgb and if you want to uh, make that particular color which is going to display under the font tag let us see i am going to uh, uh, open the uh, notepad by opening the notepad what i am going to type is already we have typed some content here and i am going to type the tag font now tag is open color equal to red and now i have closed this uh, particular brace now before uh, going ending the pa paragraph we would like to close the font i have saved the document and go and refresh the page So here what I am going to do is color equal to double zero FF double zero. So now you can able to notice a refresh. Now the particular text was changed. Now uh, if I am going to uh, type double zero here and here FF if you are going to uh, see here uh, you can able to see some other color. In a similar manner, you can able to set the color of a font. Now, what I am going to do is, the remaining color which I want to display is, here I am going to display the font in the particular color bold. So now, and now we have ended with the bold and now refresh the page. Now you can able to notice this particular content is in bold color. Now the next thing, the text which I would like to type in a italic, now header 1 is a particular text which I would like to type in a italic, I have typed i, i is used to type in a italic, backslash i, so now I would like to make this particular visible h1 text in a italic strongly emphasized citations citation is used to represent a document citation for example if you are seeing a wikipedia you can able to use that particular thing here let us see strongly emphasized what is cite and all the things uh, we will see here and now before the body tag i am going to write cite citations then I am going to enclose citation CIT. Next, strong, strongly emphasized. Next, uh, I have typed a strongly emphasized tag and I am going to enclose the tag strong. So now you can able to see by refreshing the page you can able to see what is citations and what is strongly emphasized. So we we need to use a BR tag between so that we will be having a line break. Here there is no, no line break between the citations and strongly emphasized. So by using the BR tag we have 
made a partition between those things next if you want to align a font you can able to align the font in center left right or wherever the thing you want to align here i element if i am using the center i have used the center tag now here hello is uh, visible at the center in this manner you can use this particular tags in order to see next one there are uh, special characters and symbols which you can able to represent and uh, these are used to represent a copyrighted content or uh, some other things uh, sent amber sent and other kind of things here i am going to write copyrighted reserved so now what i would like to get is copyrighted symbol and i am going to type this uh, symbol amber sent copy the browser and i am refreshing here if you are going to notice here we have got the symbol copyrights reserved now here i am going to use a br tag by using using a br tag and i am going to type ampersand symbol now ampersand symbol i am i need to type and amp you can able to see here you have got ambersan symbol in this manner you can able to use uh, whatever the thing you want to type by using this particular special characters and if you want to write fraction ambersan f r a c 1 by 2 so now i am going to type a text i am going to copy this one ambersand fraction you are going to type f r a c 2 by 5 or 2 by 9 whatever the thing you want to type you can type so now, now i have refreshed so now 2 divided by 9 register what i am going to do is i am going to type the register ambersand r e g some particular icons uh, cannot be gated and i am going to get a trademark trademark we are going to use a ampersand followed by tm trade now i have saved this one i have opened this one and i have refreshed here you can able to see followed by uh, where i have not uh, mentioned the semicolon now i have refreshed the page so here you can able to see the tag tm and uh, we have registered mark and uh, we have copyrighted mark and all the things strike suppose sometimes uh, you would like to strike off the text at the time you are using the strike symbol this is not necessary Uh, what i am going to do is uh, i would like to strike hello i am using a tag s t r i k e and again it should be ended with uh, s t r backslash s t r i k e strike tag and if you are going to see the page here wherever the hello was there it was striked it was striked off for that purpose you are using this strike tag next one is lists for example if you are going to type some content there are different types of list order list unordered list undefined list and nested list let us see one by one here you can able to type one two three four and so on 
here if I am going to use this one and I would like to create a bullet points 1 2 3 4 or I can able to create a number numbers by 1 2 3 4 and so on in a similar manner if you want say another list here you are going to type ul ul type tag is used to create another list another list defines you can able to create an another list in the form of square rectangle or different types so now i am going to uh, use the particular document in order to create a list items now what i am going to do is i am going to create order list another another list un tag ul tag by creating a another list what i am going to do type is here if you want to type the type of the attribute of uh, another list you can type otherwise no need here i have typed another list and again i am going to uh, type list item li li stands for list item list item 1 and uh, i am going to copy this one so that i can able to type whatever i want li it each and every list items uh, st starts and ends with li tag and uh, here list item 2 next list item 3 and uh, list item 4 now i need to close the ul tag which i have opened so now i am going to close the ul tag i have saved the document now refresh you can able to notice list items 1 2 3 4 so now here if you are going to see font i am going to end the font over here and refresh the color is changed previously it is blue and now it is changed to black see different types order list before going that we can able to customize the braces so now if you are going to you see uh, here here we have not specified any attribute here you can able to specify attribute type here you can able to uh, specify type equal to so now square i want uh, uh, here if you are going to see here you have round rounded bullet points in order to work uh, use square i am going to type square okay another list type equal to square and i am going to refresh the page you can able to notice here you have square so before it was a rounded one now i am going to customize this one to some other thing rectangle or uh, some other thing circle now i am going to refresh it is circle in a similar manner you can able to specify and customize up ul tag and i am going to type ol tag so ol specify order list so where it is going to show in a order now here i am going to particular because let us see what the order list is going to perform i have refreshed the content now order list is going to show the number of items here list item 1 list item 2 list item 3 and list item 4 the next thing what i am going to do is i am going to make the customization so in order to customization i am going to type type equal to in order to get roman lem roman numbers i am typing i so now i am refreshing this one you have get a roman numbers 1 2 3 and 4 for example if you want to customize that one uh, sometimes uh, you want to start from the one point start from three start from four start from five start from six at the time you are going to specify the point followed by space start equal to five 
so that from five it has to be customized. So now it was one, two, three, four. Now I am going to refresh. So now it has been started from five, so, uh, so that we can able to customize the points from starting and ending. If you want an alpha bit, you can able to specify alpha bit also. Now what I am going to do is I am going to specify the alpha bits. Capital A. I have given it will be specifying A B C D. So what what we have specified here start equal to five. So here we are having a priority. One is A, two is B, three is C, four is D, five is E. So it is going to start from E because we have specified five. Here it is starting from E. For example, I am going to start from 26. Let us say uh, 27. Refresh. So what it is showing? A A, A B, A C, A D, and so on. Like that, you can able to specify whatever the thing you want to customize the bullets. You can able to customize the bullet points based upon your requirement. Here you can able to use one, two, three, A B C, one uh, Roman numbers and upper Roman, whatever the thing you want. Okay. Next one is a definition list. The definition list is a kind of a different from others. Each item in definition list contains of one or more definition terms, which is specified by DT and DD. Now DL specifies the definition list and DT specifies the definition type or definition description. For that, we are using DL. DT and DD. For example, we will be having a side heading description about that particular point. For that purpose, we are using this one. Now, let us see an example of this one. How to create definition type, definition list, and so on. Now, I am going to open the document. DL specifies the definition list. And uh, DT specifies the definition type, so I am going to type HTML, and I need to close the DT tag definition type, and I am going to uh, open the definition description. DD tag specifies the definition description. HTML stands for hypertext. markup language so now i need to close definition data now what i am going to do is and i am going to close the definition tag list slash dl so now i have closed the definition list definition list so let us see how it is going to view Here it is going to show HTML, and again it is going to show how the definition should look like. Now, if you want to specify font, you can able to specify font, and you can able to change the color. And uh, if you want to use a bold, uh, for example, here HTML should be in bold tag, and uh, I am going to use a backslash bold. Now. I am refreshing this one. Now HTML is shown in bold one. In a similar manner, uh, depending upon your requirement, you can able to specify 
whatever uh, the content type you want to specify you can able to specify that one ne uh, next one nested list if you want to customize this one you can able to customize already i have uh, told this one next one is image tags basically image tags is a element which defines graphic image of a page image file specifies the location when which particular website image you want to embed or if you are uh, going to upload the image from your local drive you are going to specify the location whether you have saved in c drive d drive or some other drive alt specifies the alternate text field that describes an image or acts as a label it is displayed when they position the cursor over the graphic image so now you can able to make the alignment of a particular image on your page by using the image tag now you can able to use a image tag in order to specify the image now i am going to use an image tag after this particular dl now i am going to specify image tag and now i need to save i have already saved one image uh, which uh, is in my folder c drive in html file the name of the image is oip so now you need to specify the image source now i am going to specify image source equal to here if you are in the same folder same work directory no need to specify if you are in different work directory definitely you need to specify the image name is oip dot jpg so now you can able to type the attributes of an image so now for example border equal to 4 border equal to 4 so now other attributes are width equal to 60 and height equal to 60 width equal to 60 and height equal to 60 or you can able to specify uh, depending upon your dimensions so now i have specified the image tag now let us uh, refresh the page so now it has shown the dimension the border 4 was attached to that particular image and now it is showing whatever the dimensions we have specified now if you would like to adjust the width and height to some other uh, thing so 10 here 600 height 600 now let us see by refreshing the page now it has shown a enlarged format in this manner you can able to specify the image source which you want to give and now you can able to give the alternate text here by specifying alt alt equal to here you can able to specify the text name of the image this is scenery of image text anchor anchor url and image maps so now let us see why we are using anchor insert links to into documents define link types define url list some commonly used urls plan is make an image map first one creating a link for example whenever i am going to give an e url in a web page if you are clicking that one i you need to redirect it to the website so let us see how to create a hyperlink now what i am going to do is i am going to create an hyperlink by using a anchor tag i am typing anchor tag by using a anchor tag i am going to use a redirection so i am going to type anchor and now you need a hyper references in order to 
go to a web page h r e f stands for hyper referencing a web page and here what i am going to do is and i am going to type the url hyper reference equal to and where i am going to type the path of a file so www http it will be started with http double backslash www dot msn dot com so now i am going to close the anchor tag and uh, i am going to type click here to visit microsoft site backslash anchor so now save the page and uh, go to refresh now here i am clicking here now i am visited to microsoft i am coming back now i am going to visit back here in anchor tag you can able to navigate from one particular page to another web particular web page here if you right click here and click new tab here the new tab is loading and it is showing msn news in this manner you can able to create a hyperlink now what i am doing is here i am using a br tag whenever you are going to use a br tag and now your web page it is showing in a bottom click here to visit microsoft website now you have successfully inserted an url next what you are going to do is you are going to learn about image maps sometimes uh, you are going to have a visiting a web page and again you will be reflecting uh, back to the web page let us say you are going to create a three urls where one is uh, google and uh, another one is uh, yahoo and another one is uh, some other thing at that time you will be having an uh, particular thing you are going to visit a web page after that you are going to come back uh, to the same web page then the particular color of a text will be changed for that you are using link where you are going to uh, have a appearance of that link and uh, visitor link and active link so whenever you are placing the cursor over that particular link it is said to be a active link let us try this example we need to specify within the body attribute here we are not using any css we are going to use in body tag here within the body tag what i am going to give is here i am going to mention the color which you would like to visit now i am going to type link link specifies whatever the link you are going to specify in your url now what i am doing is i am going to type link equal to which color link should be in one color so it will be started with and it is going to start with hash and then what i am going to type is followed by double zero and uh, ff double zero okay link should be in this color next this is a normal link next if you are visiting in the link v link if you if you are visiting the link it should be in another color hash ff double zero double zero okay next if you are going to add to this link a link equal to here what i am typing hash double zero double zero ff so here i have not given equals we link equals to 
Now I have saved this one. Now I am going to copy this uh, same anchor tag. What I am going to do is, and I am going to give other search engines here MSN, Google, and here I am going to type uh, Yahoo. Here uh, Microsoft. Here I am typing Google site. Here I am going to type. Yahoo. Now refresh this page. There are three colors we have got. Now I am going to make this uh, cursor over here. It is showing in blue color. I have released. It is uh, converted into some color. Now I have placed here blue color. Here it is green. it is showing in blue color now i have clicked this one now it is redirected to uh, yahoo now the color is changed there are two types of links uh, one is internal link and another one is external link interlinks can be inside your web page where you are going to make a bookmark so that you can able to refer that particular bookmark name so that within the same way web page for that purpose you are using a bookmark name as hash in one hyper reference and again uh, you can able to use a bookmark name as anchor so that you can able to refer the internal web page links next for example if you see this one you are going to mention lesson 1 and uh, here you are going to have introduction to lesson 1 so that here it is having a reference for lesson 1 next one email id if you want to send a uh, email id to someone you can see a hyper reference mail to you can use a mail to tag gpr@yahoo.com so that you can able to send the email next one image maps image maps are similar to your google maps if you are clicking some region of your google map it is uh, going to show some other thing like by using a image map an image can be divided into regions if you are clicking that one it is going to uh, open some other hyperlink or some other website like that these are navigated by using urls for example image maps are having a coordinates like x1 y1 and x2 y2 similarly we are having a different uh, shapes rectangle circle polygon and uh, other kind of uh, shapes which you can able to use triangle and some other things we are going to discuss image maps in image maps what we have given is i have created an title image maps within the body what i have given here i have given image source equal to oip.jpg and whose width and height is specified and i have used the border 5 and i am using a tag called use map 1 whatever the thing i am going to specify here as a name is map 1 so now map 1 is used as a reference now here within the map name i have given a reference called map 1 here we have specified a hash for map 1 it stands as a reference now what particular coordinates you are going to click on a image that is going to navigate this particular program called example1.html so now if you are going to consider area shape is rectangle and whose coordinates are given 0 0 90 90 and here we have specified hyper reference equal to example 1 dot html now if you are going to see here uh, it is going to show an image if i am going to click here it is not clicking now if you are going going to take your cursor 
over the image which we have specified the coordinates if i am clicking this one it is going to show the web page which we have created an example to type http double backslash www.google.com now i am refreshing this page if you are going to click this circle it is redirecting to web page google.com if i am clicking here square it is redirecting to example1.html next one is tables here we are going to create a table whenever you are going to type and resume at the time you are going to insert uh, your marks which you have scored in a tabular manner for that purpose we are using a tables you can able to insert a table and uh, you can create a table attributes and you can edit the content of the table and add the table header let us see what you are going to create with the table the tables can be created by using a table tag and ends with the table tag and the table row specifies tr tag and the table header specifies th tag and table data specifies with the td tag and if you would like to give an any caption you can use the tag called caption next you are going to create a table followed by table border equal to 1 and uh, you can able to create column as a table header and column 2 as a table header here after image map what i am going to do is i am going to create a table and i am going to create a table followed by border i am going to give the border whose size is 2 and i have specified the border size is 2 now i am going to open the tr tag which is table row tag within this tr tag i am going to give table header which is going to give a heading that is column 1 next one i am going to close tr tag th tag which is going to specify the table header i have closed the th tag and it is going to end with the backslash within the same header what i would like to specify is column 2 and now i am going to open the th tag and i am going to specify column now i am going to close the column tag backslash th and i am going to uh, close the table row tag backslash tr what are the attributes you would like to type in the next row now i am going to type row 1 and column 1 here you are going to open the tag tr and tr specifies the table row within the table row you are going to type which particular attributes you would like to type now in, instead of table header i am going to type the table data table data specifies what the text you are going to insert in the column 1 so now i am going to specify row 1 and column 1 row 1 comma column 1 and i am going to close the braces of td tag next in the column 2 you need to create one more data now again i am going to open td tag and again i am going to specify row 1 and column 2 and i am going to close the td tag and now i am going to close the tr tag backslash tr now instead of typing just copy the content i am going to paste the content here now 
here I am going to specify row 2 and column 2. Row 2, column 2, row 2, column 2. Now I have saved the content and I refresh this HTML page. As you can see here, the column 1 and column 2 are going to show how many number of rows and how many number of columns. three rows and three columns and the same particular content you can copy the table header tag and I am going to paste the same thing in table header tag and I am going to mention column 3. In a similar manner I have copied the table data content I am going to paste the table data content here and I am going to uh, say row 1 and column 3. Similarly here you can able to paste it here and uh, specify row 2 and column 3. Now save the program and uh, refresh it. You can able to notice how many number of rows and columns are there. Attributes are background color, width, border and cell spacing. Here what I am going to do is in table data attribute I am going to modify color so now BG color I am going to type equal to green I have saved the program I am, I am going to read so now if you are going to see the third row here the color is changed to green. In a similar manner, I would like to copy this one BG color and uh, I am going to cut this one. Better thing is we can able to create for header. So table header background color equal to green, table header background color equal to red and table header background color equal to yellow now let us see by refreshing the page you can able to notice the background color is changed I want to specify width of the table to some extent width equal to you can able to type the percentage 30% and save the program. Now refresh the program. You can able to notice the table which has been adjusted to 30% of your page size. In this manner you can able to create the width and uh, if you want to specify the attribute height height equal to if you want to specify 20 percent and uh, you mention the 20 percent here and now save the program and refresh now height is changed concept is frames frames are relatively new addition to the html standard first introduced in the scheme navigator 2.0 objectives are upon completing the section you would able to learn creating a frame based on web page work with the frame set frame and no frame elements use the attributes of the frame elements to control the display set targets appropriately a frame page is actually made up of multiple html pages there is one html document that describes how to break up the single browser window into multiple window panes. Each window pane is filled with an HTML document. For example, to make a frame page within a window pane on the left and one on the right requires three HTML pages. Example, document.html and document2.html are the pages that contain the content 
frames dot html that describes the division of single browser window into two window frames let us see an example this particular diagram illustrates that document 1.html and document 2.html which is visible within the single page called frame which is frame set here i have specified the frame set and here i have specified the column width and whose column size are 23% and 77% of the window next frame source which particular contents we have uh, created in c drive here we are having the two particular web pages example one and another one is image now what i am going to do is i am going to mention example one and image here image source is example one dot html and the frame source the second one is i am going to type image dot html now i am going to save it as frame dot html save as frame i am going to save in c drive html folder which i have created frame dot html now save it under all files and i have saved this program let us run this program now i am going to open the frame dot html as if you are going to see the first one is not showing it is showing it is being moved or deleted now now refresh the page it is going to show example one dot html in this manner you can create the content of frame no frames it is uh, no need to specify the frame because the frame is not visible which is not supported in the html file let us see the here the example specifies the title is framed page and the frame set rows are specified here it specifies three particular rows and three particular columns and here we are going to mention the frame source example one dot html and another one is frame dot html now let us see the content frame 1 and now you can able to notice here it is split into three columns and whereas you can able to compress and resize the frame uh, by adjusting the frame it can able to stretch maximum as the content which is shown and uh, you can able to use these particular bars in order to scroll this kind of frames next one is uh, you can able to mention the frame source which you can able to represent by url and uh, you can able to mention the window name whether you want to scrolling whether yes or no or autos for example example one dot html here i am going to give no resize scrolling equal to no i have refreshed the page here no scrolling is there and i can't able to this see the remaining content for others i can able to see whatever the content is there i can able to scroll top to bottom and i can able to see left to right but in this case the first one i cannot able to view because here we have specified scrolling is no next concept we are moving to forms 
forms add the ability to web pages to not only provide the person viewing the document with dynamic information but also to obtain information from one person viewing it and process the information objectives are of creating a form adding elements to form define a cgi common gateway interface describe the purpose of a cgi application specify an action for the form forms work in all browsers forms are platform independent for example if i am going to create a contact application form you may create a form in google forms or some other forms here the particular fields they are going to ask is first name last name and uh, how many guests you are bringing what is the event date you are going to organize an event and the time you would like to book are you coming to the event or not and the next one is sending files to the email and uh, you can able to upload the document whatever the files you would like to upload next one is full name email address subject message and all the files once if you are filling and you are going to click send a file for each form so here you are going to organize the file for first one second one and third one first one you are going to click submit second one you are going to click send file third one you are going to click the submit button so once on you are going to click the submit button you are going to fill your event type of application if you want to send the files you can able to upload the details and you are going to send the file in the third page you are going to send the email address subject and message here i have typed the form action equal to where you are going to get a web page https a website of jntaca.ac.in above csc department here what i have typed is form and form will be ha having an action do get and do post which we will discuss later get the information from the server or post the information to the server here you are having a input fields which is a text box where you are going to type the name which is first name and here we have given maximum length is 50 and input type is submit that is a submit button and the name is f submit and value is send information and you are going to close the form tag and body and followed by html tag let us see by opening the window if you are going to open the form here i am going to type the name and here we are having a button to send the information here whenever i am going to click the send information it has been redirected to the web page jntaca.ac.in computer science engineering department here send information is a button which i have created as a hyperlink here if you are going to see whenever here i have created the submit button and what is the name name is f submit one the value is going to send the information so where it is going to send the information is the form action it is going to redirect on clicking this particular web page and it is going to redirect to the particular website name which is jntaca.ac.in now form element attributes or action action is the url of a common gateway interface the program that is going to accept the data from the form and process it and send a response back to the browser the methods are do get and do post which specifies a http method http stands for hypertext transfer protocol method which we are going to type the url of the web page and here uh, it is going to send the form contents to the web server the cg application should be written to accept the data from either the method 
name is a form name used by vb script or java script the target is the target frame which is the response window will show up form elements are text box text area password boxes check boxes option radio button submit button reset file hidden and images these are the form elements the properties of attributes are input input type equal to text box input type equal to radio button input type equal to text area whatever the type of form element you are going to specify that we are going to specify in the input tag now here we are having a form elements type is a input field entry type specifies what kind of type of a particular field you are going to specify text box text area submit button radio button check box combo box or drop down list or whatever the thing you want to type you are going to specify name is a variable passed to the cj application value the data associated with the variable name button box is checked size specifies number of visible characters in the text field maximum length specifies the number of characters here what i am going to type is here i am going to type text area here i am going to type paragraph and the tag which i am going to open is text area and the text area is having the attributes how many number of rows and how many number of columns you are going to specify columns equal to 40 and rows equal to 10 then you are going to name the tag name what is the name you are going to type a name equal to address i am going to type address which you are going to type and here i am going to uh, mention whatever the fields you would like to enter by default name second one is uh, he need to type the name and uh, he need to type the address and uh, he need to type the state and he need to type pin code and fifth one is country and sixth one is mobile number you can specify the colon for each one so that he will be typing some content into the text area Finally, you need to close the tag text area. I am copying the content text area here. And now I have pasted text area. And you need to end the tag called text area. Save the program. Now refresh the content because we have given uh, spa spaces in a uh, text area here you can able to type name and uh, you can fill the fields whatever the field you want to fill and uh, you can type all the things and uh, you can able to click this send information but here we have not given any content here we have just given the here we have given the format of what user need to type otherwise he can delete the content and he can able to type freshly here it is used because uh, it will be uh, shown as a default if i am de delete deleting this one and refreshing this one again this particular content will be visible next 
what i am doing is here i would like to use password field here i am going to change this one i am going to ask the user to type name and address here i have removed the name and again we have used the address and we are going to ask the user to type username and password for example here i am going to ask the user to type the username username and again i am going to copy this content and i am going to ask the user to type the password here i am going to ask the user to type the password here the field is password i have typed the password let us see by refreshing the page it is going to ask username and password here we are using a send information which is a submit button which uh, we will use at last i am copying uh, cutting this uh, submit button and uh, i am going to paste the submit button here because so that it will be looking flexible whenever you are sending the information it should be sent at last next what i am doing is you need to uh, uh, press you need uh, what i am going to do is uh, you need to enter which uh, uh, particular courses you have done for that what i am doing is i am going to type a, a paragraph here i am going to type certain things check mail select your gender select your gender user has to enter either uh, male or female and i have closed the paragraph tab after closing the paragraph tag what i am going to use is i am going to mention input type now input type is uh, which i am going to use is checkbox here just i am going to copy this one instead of uh, typing select your gender it has to show br tag so that we will be using a line break and now i am going to type input type equal to checkbox what what i am going to type is checkbox h e c k b o x checkbox i have typed a name what is the name attribute we would like to type gender gender is a name uh, which i have typed and uh, here value you need to specify and if you want to specify the value you can able to specify value for each one either otherwise you can able to specify gender instead of gender name equal to a name equal to a and you need to specify a value value and you can able to specify some value value you can able to specify something 
as a capital A. Here, I am going to type mail. Save the program, refresh, select your gender, mail. And if you want to add female, copy the content, paste the content, and here name is b and uh, value which i am going to type is bb here female now refresh it is showing male and female checkbox you can type any of them now i am refreshing the page so email is checked by default so because i am going to use an attribute checked for example i am going to copy the content here and i would like to use checked if you refresh the page both are checked by default only one should be selected instead of a input type equal to checkbox i am going to use input type equal to radio here i am going to rename as radio select an option and uh, here you are going to specify r and i am going to type rr here i am going to type Select true. I am refreshing this one. It is a better better thing is you can able to use a radio button before the submit button. Now refresh the page and now select the button if true otherwise false here uh, you are going to type rs triple r here i am going to type false now refresh either you can able to select either true or false now if you are going to give same name same value and uh, refresh only one will be selected not both will be selected here i am going to type select copy the content it is uh, similar to your text area here i have pasted this one instead of text area what i am doing is i am using a select button i am using a select here i am going to type name course list course so you are you are this i am going to type the course list course list and uh, wh what is the size you would like to specify size equal to 5 size is 5 now I am going to give an option for select button we are having option 
what are the option you are going to select so one for civil engineering and you need to close the tag option and uh, you can have uh, how many number of uh, option tags the size is specified five up to five option tags you can view here here i am going to type to tribuli and uh, next one third option i am going to give third one mechanical now fourth option i am giving ec and uh, fifth option i am giving csc and sixth option i am going to give chemical now we have open the select tag and you need to close the select tag followed by backslash now if you are going to see here course and uh, submit button should be always at the end now i have saved the program and if you refresh you can able to select here any one option in radio if you are going to give the same value same name then you can select one but in the case of checkbox you can able to select multiple items for example if you are using a shopping cart website at that time you can able to have a checklist and a uncheck list you can able to check the items and you can able to proceed like that you can use and once if you are going to click the send information button it has to be redirected to page but here we are not using do get and do post methods next one is here just i am going to type some fields some just a random text i am going to type here if you are going to see the password here it is uh, not showing the password if you are going to click the i icon it is going to show whatever the password you have typed and uh, you can able to check uh, yeah, which gender you belongs to and uh, you can select a radio button either true or false and uh, you can use this one now whatever the fields i have typed if i would like to erase the uh, content of the fields what i need to do is i need to create a reset button for that purpose i am going to create the reset button it is also similar to submit button it, at the top of the submit button i am going to create a reset button here instead of submit i am using a reset reset and here i am going to type the value reset so that that is going to show the value which you are going to reset the particular content now refresh here if you are going to click uh, select some random thing and type some name here if i am going to reset everything is erased by default here i am going to copy this one and uh, i am going to type the same thing here i am going to type a paragraph upload latest photo upload latest photo and i am going to close the paragraph tag and uh, here i am going to type the tag is input type is file here i am going to type input type is file and uh, name is upload and uh, here 
I am going to type uh, instead of uh, value id id equal to file upload. So now save the program and uh, refresh the program. Here you can able to see upload latest uh, photo choose file. You can able to choose some file uh, which belongs to image format. You can save and uh, once if you are going to send the information it has to be redirected since it is a static web page uh, it will not able to redirect it to be your uh, uh, preferred web server if you like this uh, video please like and uh, share and subscribe thank you for watching thank you very much